guys, long time no vlog. It's honestly been I think around three weeks since I last vlogged and I've missed you guys so much. So welcome back. It's gonna be a new week in my life vlog. We're starting it on a Sunday today. It is a very ugly, wet, cold Sunday out. It's been quite um, freezing and ugly here the past week and it's been very depressing to say the least <laughs> mixed with getting dark at 5 p.m. Today I'm feeling pretty good. I just had a coffee and just I'm all bundled up because like I said it's just got cold so fast here in the last like week it already snowed here and everything it's crazy um, but I'm gonna go do my signature starting off the vlogs grocery shop which seems to happen every single vlog now at the beginning but I just figured today would be a good day to start the vlog so welcome back you guys uh, I do need to go get a lot of things I was out of town up until actually <laughs> I guess I got back last Monday and I still haven't been grocery shopping which is shocking I don't know how I've lasted this long almost a week without groceries um, but I'm gonna go to Trader Joe's and then to Winco so if anybody has pets out there that have separation anxiety like my little man when I have to leave him um, he definitely gets visually kind of upset and he starts to kind of he's been very clingy lately a lot of people have been saying that about their pets during like quarantine and just being at home with them more so this is like a little fun um, treat slash puzzle thing that I make for Squirtle. One of my Instagram followers actually like DMs this to me, this idea. And it's so easy because you don't need anything for it except their regular treats. And then you can just save some of the insides of your toilet paper rolls. And basically all you do, it like makes a toy in itself basically. You can just, and you could probably do this with other things too. Cause Squirtle really likes to tear things up and like eat his bed and like eat stuffed animals. So he can tear this up basically and have his fun tearing things up, but it's not like actually destroying something, you know, that I don't want him to destroy. And it occupies him while I'm out. Anyway, you fold up um, and ends like this. So it's almost like a little pillow. And then usually I put in just like a couple treats. We'll put in two treats today. He gets so excited. He loves this. We do this all the time. And then the other side, you just fold up. And then it's kind of fun for them. If your pet is interested in stuff like this, I mean, make sure you show them that the cookies are inside and it ends up looking like this. And then they have to kind of like go through and tear it up and get all their energy out. And then they get the treats at the end. So it's kind of like a Kong. Squirtle has never been like obsessed with Kongs, but he really likes this. And I'll give something to him like this before I leave. And I know that it'll at least like occupy him, distract him from the fact that I'm leaving the house. Um, let's give it to him. Did I make your favorite little toy? Yeah, I know. <laughs> oh, he's so excited. He loves these so much. Okay, okay, go get it. <laughs> Usually it takes him only like around five minutes to get it, but it definitely keeps him occupied and he absolutely loves this. Does anyone else feel like it was literally just freaking summer and you were in a bathing suit and now it's UGG season? Yep, I officially broke mine out I think two days ago and pretty much all I've been wearing. So, it's that time of year again, y'all. Freaking cute, this tiny little, I think it was a Monstera, what is this? Yeah, tiny baby Monstera I found at Trader Joe's and it came in this little ceramic pot. Guys, it's so small, I wanna like keep it in my car, but I feel like since I keep my car in my garage and it's like dark, it'll die. But isn't this so cute? This is like my favorite thing I found. I've just been keeping it in the cup holder until I get home. But anyway, I'm at Winco, you can't really tell. Um, I'm parked in the back, but going into Winco. All right, guys, I'm back home. It's already 3.45, and I <laughs> left my house at, like, 1 o'clock. It just always takes me so long to go grocery shopping. I did just, like, watch a YouTube video and eat some lunch before I did the grocery haul. I just had a Caesar salad with one of my Boca um, spicy patties on top, and it was great, a great lunch, but anyway time for the grocery haul. I wonder how many grocery hauls I've done in the vlogs in 2020 alone. I mean, truly, it's like every vlog, but what can I say? I love a good grocery haul and you guys seem to always like them. Here's our beautiful array of 
groceries today. Everything's just kind of randomly thrown out. Um, I kind of was just lazy with it today and just shoved everything on the counter. So um, I got some pet food or dog food, obviously my only pet. I got some dog food, some pasta sauce, restock of beans. I always just like to have a bunch of these in my cabinet. Honestly, the best find of the day. My $5 little plant that came in this mini mug. I don't know where to put it. I think it's so cute. Oh my gosh, I don't know why I'm so excited about this. Anything, like look how small the little pot is inside of it. <laughs> it's just so precious. I got two of these RX bars. Random, but <laughs> I did. I got some Parmigiano Reggiano and I was triggered because I looked at the top when I got home. I didn't notice it at the, this at the store. And it has Miss Mold. If you guys can see that. So, I mean, I'm still gonna use the cheese. I think I'm just gonna not use this part. But, I don't know, maybe that's supposed to happen if it's like an authentic cheese. I, I truly don't know. It says this was packed on Halloween. So, it really hasn't been this long since it got packaged up. Some chicken broth as well as, this is one of my favorite little soups at Trader Joe's, I love it. Um, I love like dipping grilled cheese into it, so good. So I got a, another one of these, well I ran out, so that's why I got one. And then the wine, and I mean the alcohol haul is a little bit much today because I had to go to the liquor store to restock a couple things. I got all my wine at Trader Joe's. This wine is super cheap, I think it's three or four dollars. Um, so I got two of those and then Another Pinot Grigio, a dry Riesling, and a Cava Brut. I always just stock up. You guys know I always stock up on wine, especially when it's like affordable. So I've been back on the Trader Joe's wine kick. And then like I said, I went to the liquor store because I wanna make some special cocktails. So I've never bought this before. I don't know if this is how you say it, like Chambord. Chambord, Chambord, I think that's how you say it. It's like, why does it look so fancy, you guys? They didn't have any other size except this, and I need this for, uh, I mean, I don't need it, but it. <laughs> I wanna make these cocktails um, tonight, and it calls for, I guess Chambord, I didn't even know, is a black raspberry liqueur that you use in certain cocktails. So that's why I got this. And then I got a little thing of Tito's. Usually I get a bigger one, but I really haven't been like, drinking Tito's lately, but I did get it once again for the cocktails that I'm gonna make with my man tonight. Um, we're gonna like make dinner together later, so. And then here's the plethora of produce. We have some sweet potatoes, red potatoes, a ginormous thing of parsley. I can't believe this is the smallest thing I could find of parsley. It's absolutely huge. I need it for a recipe, um, but there's just so much. I need to just grow my own parsley in my kitchen or something like that because or my own herbs, honestly, because I hate buying them in these giant, I just don't understand why they sell them in these giant of things. Like, has anyone ever used a whole one of these unless they're cooking for like 30 people? I don't know. I got two tomatoes, a jalapeno, the usual stuff, apples, onions, bell peppers, lemons, limes, avocados, all the usual suspects in there. And then I got some romaine as well as some whole carrots. I got this spicy hummus dip. I've been craving hummus and I haven't had it for a while. I like this one a lot and I like also the regular one from Trader Joe's. And then this was super random, honestly kind of an impulse buy this cheese. I feel like people always talk about this when they make like cheese boards and how how good it is and I feel like I haven't really like ever bought this cheese so honestly I just got it I'm not planning on even making a cheese board I just got it to have with some crackers I don't know try her out got some eggs um, in the Winco bulk section I got some spaghetti as well as some candy for Christmas I got Reese's cups and then I got these peppermint Hershey kisses I'm gonna put these all in like a bowl we got to replace the pumpkin honestly oh speaking of stuff going on over here. I did get some, I think these are hydrangeas. Hydrangeas, sorry, I just don't even really know. <laughs> but I got these, they're a little bit, when I pulled them out of the package, they were like a little bit flat. So hopefully they'll open up more, but they were like five or six bucks. And I, when I go to Trader Joe's, I like to get flowers. Um, just brightens up the house a little bit. I randomly got this peppermint extract. I've been wanting to like add peppermint to my coffee and hot chocolate and things like that this time of year, it's always fun. And then I got some Arizona green teas. That was a little bit random. I got some Greek yogurt and I got some 
candy cane Jojo's ice cream, which as soon as I showed it to you guys, I was gonna put it in the freezer because she's been out for a while. I also got some popcorn and some wheat thins. I don't know why I've randomly been craving wheat thins, but I have. And then I got some um, frozen corn. I needed to restock on that. Some, I've never seen this before. I don't know if this is like new, but I've never seen this at Trader Joe's. Spaghetti Casio e Pepe. Probably said that so wrong, but it just sounded good. So I like to have like a few things just to keep in my freezer. Quick things that I can make when I don't feel like cooking. And another one I like is the vegetable fried rice. I get that every so often. I got some pancetta instead of bacon for a carbonara recipe. That's why I also got this and the parsley. I'm gonna make that tonight with my man. And then I got these again. These were repurchased. I really liked these last time. I got these chili and garlic cashews. I thought they were like a really good snack. I got two things of chicken and then I think my last stuff, a little bit random, but at Winco I picked up a thing of Vaseline just for the winter time. I needed to kind of restock on that and then I needed some batteries. Boring, but um, yes, we got those as well. So that's our grocery haul for today. Simply gorgeous. Going to put everything away now and do a little bit of editing. All right, hello you guys. I am so freaking pumped to share with you guys this vlog's sponsor and pretty much the manifestation of a lifetime for me. Truly, truly the brand and the product that is the sponsor of this vlog, you guys. I don't think it could be more on brand for me. So this is my advent wine calendar. Yes, you heard that right. An advent calendar that is filled with a bottle of wine to open every single day in December leading up until Christmas. This product, I wish that I invented it. It is absolutely brilliant. It's so big I can barely even fit it on screen because these wine bottles are actually such a good size. They're not even tiny. You get so much value out of this and what a perfect gift for someone in your life coming up for the month of December. I mean, it is the perfect time to buy gifts. If you have a Christmas lover in your life, a wine lover in your life, I'm both a wine and Christmas lover. This is so perfect. Or you can treat yourself and buy it for yourself. You can actually punch out these little circles for every day and pull the bottle of wine out. But I'm just gonna show you guys what it looks like. Don't mind Squirtle eating in the background if you can hear that, but this is my wine advent calendar, you guys. And look how cute the packaging is. And these are glass bottles, you guys, so it's super sustainable. You can just recycle them and they look so nice and elegant. And I couldn't get over how big these bottles are because I thought it was gonna be like a little shot size. This is like a couple glasses of wine in each bottle, you guys, and you have all these different types of wine to choose from. And you get one bottle every single day so you can try a bunch of wines. There's white wines like a Riesling and a Sauvignon Blanc. There's red wines like a Cab Sauve and a Pinot Noir. Is that how you say it? I probably got it wrong. Every time I try to say that word, I get it wrong. A Merlot. There's more whites. You guys know I'm a big white wine girl. There's a Pinot Grigio. That's probably gonna be my favorite. That's my favorite wine. We also have Chardonnay, and we even have some Rosé in here as well. Just look at all this, you guys. I can't wait for December 1st. And this is what the packaging looks like, by the way. It's so beautiful, so festive. And they actually make this in a couple of options as well. I think I had the festive wine calendar, but they actually have a couple others, which I'll insert pictures of on the screen right now. So you can choose from a few different options. And if you don't want to do the whole 24 bottles, you can actually do a 12 bottle wine calendar as well. If you want a little bit of a cheaper option or something like that. Honestly, if I got this as a gift, I would never get over it. It is so perfect for me and I had to share it with you guys. So this is the perfect time to order yours because of course we still have a little while, a little bit until Christmas. It's not even Thanksgiving yet. So it's the perfect time to order one for yourself or for your mom or for a friend maybe someone that's had a hard year and you just want to treat them and of course this year in my vlogmas videos i'm going to be opening this every single day with you guys and trying the wine so i'm going to link to all of the options for the advent wine calendar in the description box below like i said this is only one of the options but they have multiple different styles to choose from and also the brand that makes this which is called sip and savor they also have a quarterly subscription as well so i'll link that in the description box as well if you guys want to go check that out maybe as another gift option or to treat yourself for the end of the year for the new year i feel like i manifested the most perfect sponsorship i'm so thankful for this brand for sponsoring the vlog and it's just 
It's just so on brand for Lindsay Hughes. It would mean so much to me if you guys went and checked them out using the link in the description box below. It's the perfect time of year. It's about to be Cyber Week to order your advent calendar and have it get here in early December. So. All right, I'm just about to sit down at my little uh, couch desk with my little acrylic desk. Just took my little man out for a walk in the horrible freezing conditions. And I just have to edit the rest of my podcast episode that's going up tomorrow. I need a hairbrush. This is what to beanie hair when you take off the beanie because your hot looks like. Hello you guys, it is Monday now and um, I haven't vlogged in a little bit. I honestly kind of forgot about my vlog, but I basically just had like a cute little um, date night with my man and we cooked dinner at my place and like watched a movie. And then this morning I actually had my first or my second class at Orange Theory, which is my new workout program that I'm trying. I really like it so far. One of my really good friends in Atlanta, Layla, actually manages a studio there, and shout out to Layla if you're watching, because she got me into it. I tried a class when I was there, and I've just been really wanting to like recommit to my fitness for a while. I just had my first class in Boise. Um, I'm sweaty and I need to change. You can tell I have like under boob sweat, but um, it was really good. I feel really like pumped up for the week. I'm gonna like shower. I'm gonna talk to my mom on the phone, have something to eat, and then check in with you guys in a little bit. I'm a little like shaky right now. I'm really, really hungry and sweaty. So that's what I've been up to since I last chatted with you guys. Um, but we're gonna continue our week vlogging so excited. All right, you guys It's a little bit later I just took a shower and I'm wearing some really comfy clothes basically pajamas I'm wearing sweatpants and my moose shirt that I got as a souvenir in Montana I remember that I wanted to show you guys one of my new favorite beautiful little home decor pieces that I got in the mail recently. So I've always seen these in other people's YouTube videos and thought how much I adore them. These are these amazing dried roses from the brand Rose Forever and they come in this like velvet hat box. You can choose, I think you can choose from a square or a um, circle. I got this one and I got I think the ivory roses because it just matches with everything. I have them over here right now but I kind of I want to put them somewhere like maybe upstairs in my room on my vanity I feel like I'm gonna change where they are whenever I do my Christmas decor I got these the other week and I hadn't vlogged since I got them and they just make me so happy let me know where you guys think these would look best in my house like maybe on my coffee table I don't know it could be a little bit much I might do it on my coffee table but I kind of like having that wooden thing there let me know what you guys think. They actually have these in like every single color. I just got the ivory ones, like I said, and I have a discount code for you guys if you want to check them out. I can't decide if I should put them upstairs, maybe like on my vanity or my dresser or keep them downstairs. So let me know what you guys think would look good with like the holiday decor, if these should go downstairs or upstairs in my bedroom. It's Monday, so I'm listening to the new Girls Gotta Eat episode. And I need to do some dishes from last night. The kitchen's pretty dirty from dinner last night. So I feel like I always show you guys montages of me doing the dishes. So I'll probably just show you when it's done and clean. I put on this amazing surprise little tie-dye crew neck that I got in the mail today from one of my patrons. I'll put her um, tie-dye shop handle on the screen right now. She sent me a couple of other things that are back there. I'll have to show you guys a little bit later. But I'm listening to some um, instrumental lo-fi, which you can probably hear in the background on Spotify. I, I hope I cannot get copyright for that. Honestly, oh, and I'm making gnocchi. And they're kind of loud. I'm just making some frozen Trader Joe's gnocchi and they're the ones that like have the sauce and the cheese on the inside, um, which is yummy. And then I'm just using some of the sauce that I got yesterday. Super easy, I'm just gonna mix this in in a minute and just having some late 4.30 p.m lunch right now guys i'm all for an easy lunch i really didn't feel like making anything today after i cleaned my kitchen which i never showed you guys but it's beautiful and i've just been doing a little bit of work i'm about to do a bunch of emails that i'm super behind on and you guys i got the most exciting candles in the mail today and look how cute this is you guys it's this perfect little like christmas um repurposed wine bottles um candle companies wine wicks 
makes candles repurposed from wine bottles. And I'm so excited about these. I've actually been out of candles for like a week and been dying. So I've been waiting for these to come in the mail. She sent a couple of holiday scents, which are amazing. I'll link the website in the description box if you guys are interested. And I got a big one, which I'm already, I couldn't even wait to light it up. I had to get it going. I think this is a um, Cypress. So it is smelling so good in my place right now. I am, I couldn't be happier. You guys know I love a freaking candle and it's time to retire the pumpkins for some Christmas decor here pretty soon. Next stop, Flavortown, USA, baby. I would just like to say that I am vibing. It's like an eight hour spiral of Christmas music. I have my candle going. I set up my little wine thingy and I'm about to make some dinner. It's got late pretty fast. I think it's like 7.30 right now. I mean, not late, but dinner time. So I'm gonna make some homemade fries in my air fryer. Super easy, just cut up a red potato and then did oil, salt, pepper, and garlic powder. And I'm just gonna pour these into my air fryer. So easy, I use my air fryer every single day. I barely even use my oven that much anymore, to be honest. I do like everything in the air fryer, it's so much quicker. All right, and these are ready to go in. I think I'm gonna put them at like 375. I'm gonna check them out 15 minutes and see how they look. I've just been catching up on emails for the past like almost three hours. I've been on my computer and I got through almost all of them and I've just been listening to this Christmas music. I'm also gonna make a salad in addition to just the fries. So I'm gonna start on that now. It's gonna be one of my signature barbecue chicken salads, but instead of actual chicken, I'm gonna use one of my Boca patties tonight. All right guys, this is my signature barbecue chicken salad. I've been making this a lot lately. And here's how my fries turned out, by the way. And here's the salad. So basically what it is, Hopefully the music isn't distracting you guys too much. So in here I have romaine, I have a lot of corn, some tomatoes, red bell peppers, some cheddar cheese, and I'm gonna add some avocado at the end to the top, but I wanna keep this in my fridge. I'm probably gonna have like one serving of it now and then one for lunch tomorrow, so I don't wanna add like the avocado and the dressing and stuff yet. I also haven't added my little boca patty yet, but I just cut it up. It doesn't look the best, but it's really good on salads. And then what I do is I just use a little bit of ranch, and then I do a pretty good amount of barbecue sauce on top, and it is so good. I think that's everything. Oh, also I had carrots in there. I don't think I said that and we're gonna add the avocado. It's gonna be so good. Good morning, guys. It's Tuesday and I'm about to have some egg, pepper, tomato scramble with avocado and a hot sauce on top. I really would like to have this with bread, but and I don't have any right now, so I need to actually make that today. Um, and I probably will have something else because this truly isn't quite that much food. I'll probably make a smoothie or something. But hello, it is Tuesday. I am so excited because I'm getting my hair colored today and I haven't seen my um, hair queen, Katie, since, I think since July because I have gotten my hair done since then, but I haven't seen her since July because she had a baby and it is just seriously so fun to catch up with her. I can't wait to see her. I'm leaving for that in like an hour. I'm gonna put on some real clothes and um, probably do my makeup. I like to like do my makeup on days where I get my hair done if I have time because after it's all done, it's like the grand reveal when they like flip you over in the mirror and you're like, yes. My roots are pretty grown out. I'm so excited to get my hair colored today. But that's the plan for the afternoon today. Um, I'll probably come home after that and do a little bit of work. And then The Bachelorette is on tonight. It's my Tuesday night tradition now. So today is already flying by. I slept until like 11 and now it's like literally already one o'clock. I'm like, what happened today? So we're a little slow moving today, but hey, it's, it's okay. We're gonna let ourselves be like that today okay hi guys I have been in such a rush um, and I didn't get to vlog before my hair appointment so she's done I mean it really doesn't look that much different other than you know we got the roots touched up the roots touch up and I got a little bit off today I think this is the same length I went for when I got my hair cut like 
I don't know, a month ago. This might be a little bit shorter. I love when it's like a blunt chop when it's short. So just finished up. I love it. I got to catch up with my queen, Katie. If any of you guys live in the Boise slash Caldwell area, she actually moved salons to Caldwell because um, she just had a baby. She's usually pretty booked up, but if any of you guys um, want to get your hair colored or cut, she is amazing. I love her so much. She's so nice. So I'll leave her Instagram on the screen. I don't know if she has any availability, but she probably does at like some point in the next few months. Um, anyway, it's getting dark. It's like five o'clock. Now I think 516. It's probably gonna be pitch black by the time I get home um, But yeah, it was really good to catch up with her go to her new salon And I guess I'll see you guys when I get home. All right guys I'm back home when I got home. It was six o'clock and it was already dark. So basically the whole day was Getting ready for my hair appointment and getting my hair done and driving home. I'm kind of embracing it I'm like, okay, whatever. This was my main event of today. Like we'll get you know, we'll get some good stuff done the rest of the week. I am watching The Bachelorette right now. It's a commercial, but I always stream it on my laptop and watch it on my TV on Tuesday nights. I'm also making a loaf of the bread, finally. Hopefully this one turns out good. I have a good feeling about this loaf. It's not looking as flat as the last time. My dough is rising right now, so I'll show you guys when I'm finishing it up. Hopefully, hopefully she looks good tonight hopefully she turns out just poured up a glass of wine and this is my dry riesling for my bachelorette night this is pretty good i'm i like this i found this at trader joe's dry riesling is so much better than sweet riesling but i don't like sweet wine so that's probably why i feel that way but i have to go because the bachelorette is back on guys reporting live from my perfect loaf of bread i'm freaking out right now it looks so puffy so good I am so freaking happy that I'm making another one just like this. So it's a little bit later now. It's like about to be 11 o'clock. I just finally finished making my second loaf of bread of the night because my first one turned out so good that I was like, oh my God, I need to like keep going with this energy. I need I need to make another one and my second one turned out beautiful as well. So I'll show them to you guys. I already had two pieces and it's so good. I think, um, I don't know if anyone cares about this, but I think what I did to finally change mine from being really flat the last few times I made it to this time, it's it's normal puffiness. I got new flour. The flour I had before, it was just not doing the trick. And I also added in a half a cup more flour than I usually do to this recipe. And that seemed to work. I always follow the same recipe, by the way. If you guys are interested, I'll link it in the description box below. This is my loaf that just came out of the oven. It looks so good. I love like the flour and the cracks. It just, oh, this one didn't turn out like perfectly round, but I still think it looks really good. And then this one I made earlier and I've already had some as you can tell. And this is what it looks like on the inside. And it's definitely at least like an inch or two taller than the last time I made it, which I'm so happy about. So this was how I spent my night besides watching The Bachelorette and I can't complain. I'm gonna head upstairs, take off my makeup, and just get into bed in just a few minutes here. I'll pick up the vlog tomorrow for you guys, and we will have another full day, so I'll see you then. Hello, you guys. It is now Wednesday afternoon, and I'm starting the vlog off a little later today. I've just been kind of... What have I been doing? I had some breakfast. I just FaceTimed with Megan for a little bit, and we caught up, talked about some work things. If you could hear that wind, yes, for some reason, the wind is that loud. Something having to do with my balcony or the French doors on my balcony, the wind straight up just sounds like that from inside my house. And it is a very windy day out. So Squirtle is pretty scared. He hates the sound of the wind. I think I'm actually gonna put his thunder shirt on because he just hates it so much. He just doesn't know like what's going on. All right, I'm gonna talk to you guys when this is a little bit less violently loud. It's about 3.45. I'm about to take Squirtle on a walk, have some late lunch, and then I'm gonna record a podcast episode today. So, and then, and hopefully I'll have time to do that before I have a workout class at 5.30 today. Um, so I'm gonna go and do that, do a body pump class. It'll be good. I haven't taken that class in a while at the YMCA, so I'm gonna do that. Guys, straight up, look at the sky outside right now. 
<laughs> it straight up is like the apocalypse outside. It just did like a giant lightning cracked across like the whole sky. Anyway, guys, I have kind of a chaotic setup right now. I put my podcast stuff out, but I don't think I'm gonna have time to record that before my workout class. So I'll just probably end up doing it tonight. I'm eating the other half of my salad from the other day and I just made like a new little vegan chicken patty to put on top of it. So I'm like halfway done with that. And I'm watching an Aspen and Parker vlog right now. Aspen is showing some stuff that she got for Cove. So we are loving it. This guy has not been very happy with the weather going on outside today. So he's just taking a nice big comfy nap. You guys ever just love to tuck in your pets? And they, sometimes they don't even like it. They're like, the fuck? I don't even want this blanket. I just love to, I just love to tuck you in. All right guys, it's about 5.15 now and I'm going to go to a workout class. It's like so freaking ugly, rainy, terrifying, dark, scary outside, but I'm gonna go get in a good little body pump workout. I haven't been to this class in like a month, so I'm really excited to go. I just have on an all black little, it's actually not even a set, but it's just black on black, but they're different brands. This is my favorite little sports bra. I think it's called the Chloe bra, if that's wrong. That might be wrong. I honestly might have made the Cleo. I think it's Cleo. <laughs> um, from Girlfriend Collective, this is my favorite. I have it in two colors and I want it in every color. And then these leggings actually just got in the mail. They're from the brand Vuori. Vuori? I don't know how to pronounce it, but I'll put like have a spelling on the screen. I, I just feel like it, I could be pronouncing it totally wrong. I have a little pocket in the back and like a little pocket on front too, so I love that. And then I did my hair in like a half ponytail because for this class you don't really have to have like a full ponytail. Like I won't be like dying if I don't do a full ponytail. And I thought it looked cuter since I just got my hair done to do it up like this. I probably won't vlog in the car, but I'll see you guys a little bit later. Hello my gorgeous dwellings. As much as it looks like I have not done anything productive since last time we talked, I did in fact have a very, very difficult body pump class. It was honestly one of the hardest classes I remember in so long. The teacher was just like intense and every song just went on for so long. It was just, it was fucking hard. I feel like I'm definitely gonna be sore from that. Anyway, I came home and changed into joggers and my big comfy, I was already wearing this for the beginning of the vlog. I'm wearing it again. And I poured a little glass of wine. It's like 7.15 already the day. Once again, that he has flown. That's Squirtle just throwing his bone around because he's excited right now because he just ate cheese. I'm very excited after eating the cheese. Um, I just made some soup. I guess I'll show you guys. I'll move the camera. I just wanted to do a super quick thing because I'm really hungry and I still have some more work to do tonight because I didn't get to do it before the workout class. And so I need to do that. So I just wanted something quick, but I'm in my air fryer, which is probably done. I basically just made like a half grilled cheese type thing with my bread and I just melted cheese and pepper on it. And then I'm just gonna dip this into tomato soup. I mean, truly not the healthiest thing, but it's just what I crave when it's like cold and gloomy outside. So, this is what we're having tonight. Really nothing fancy tonight, just something super quick, some soup and a little half grilled cheese in my pina grigio. What's up you guys? It is now Thursday afternoon. It's been a pretty busy morning and day so far. I got another Orange Theory workout in, which was really good this afternoon. I was gonna say this morning, but it was at 12.30. And then, I just, and then I came back, took a quick shower, I took Squirtle to the groomer, I got some Starbucks, and I just got back to my house. But I'm gonna start on editing this vlog, so I wanted to just end it off. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you made it until the end of the video, give it a thumbs up. And don't forget to check out the Advent Wine calendars in the description box if you are interested. And I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. I'll be back vlogging for you again, probably like mid next week there'll be another vlog up soon i am in the same sweater that i was in the other day but whatever living my best comfy life if you guys want to see my secret content that i can't post on youtube like my smoke sesh videos and story times and secret videos that is all on my patreon which is always linked at the top of the description box if you want to ever become a patron and access all that content but until my next youtube video i will see you guys soon